hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, the satellite communication systems so far uh, we have discussed the basic introductory concepts related to satellite communications and its uh, operation the working principle and we have discussed about why the satellite communication system uh, came into play what is its need so in this video we are going to discuss some basic things related to the the satellite launching positioning and about uh, the satellite orbits and trajectories the basic concepts so the satellite launching and positioning now this uh, this is a very vast uh, thing in itself satellite launching and positioning but from a communication point of view we do not require to understand this in detail <coughs> sorry so in short we will try to uh, cover this up so the satellite when uh, it is launched from the surface of the earth with the help of a launch vehicle <coughs> sorry it is given some forward motion and sufficient velocity is given to it so that it can overcome and go out of the gravitational field of earth okay the satellite's forward velocity and acceleration should be in such of, of such value that it should balance the earth's downward gravitational pull the upward motion of satellite should be more than the earth's downward gravitational pull if it will be less then the satellite would fall back to the surface of the earth under the influence of gravity so basically the launching and positioning is uh, done with the help of suitable forward motion and acceleration given to the launch vehicle then at some point away from the surface of the earth several thousand kilometers the satellite separates from the launch vehicle and gets positioned in the suitable orbit there is a lot of detailed discussion and explanation that can be done just in simple terms i am trying to make you understand we'll discuss about it maybe in some other video it will take around 3 or 4 or 5 videos to just make you understand this but in simple terms this is the whole process of launching and positioning now we know that the artificial satellites which are used for various purposes be it uh, for planetary research weather monitoring or uh, navigation communication whatever <coughs> it revolves around earth or any other planet in a certain well defined path so that's where orbit and trajectory those terms come into play now an orbit is a path which is periodically repeated or revisited for example the motion of planets around the sun the motion of uh, artificial satellites around earth it is continuously traversed so it, it is called this path is called as a orbit now the earth it takes around 365 days to make one complete revolution around the sun so there is a fixed duration but trajectory is a path which is not repeated it is not revisited again it is the path of the launch vehicle carrying the satellite the example so that follows a trajectory it is a path the launch vehicle may not follow the same path which it originally took so this is the difference between orbit and trajectory the artificial satellites they revolve around earth or any other planet 
the monitoring of which is to be done in certain well defined paths which are continuously revisited called as orbits now the types of orbits now the satellite orbits they are of two types mainly now it is of very much of importance the uh, the geometry of these orbits because a lot of other factors speed angle of inclination elevation and uh, the satellite distance all the other com things come into play because of this uh, orbits the geometry of the orbits we will discuss about them in separate videos so the satellite orbits there are of two types circular orbit and elliptical orbit so this is a normal circular orbit which you will find here the earth is then the satellite takes a well defined circular path to move around the earth in case of elliptical orbit the shape will be in the form of a ellipse okay the path will be in the form of a ellipse so these are the two types of orbits circular and elliptical another important concept associated with uh, the satellite orbits is the orbital plane now when the satellite it uh, rotates around uh, earth or any other planet it forms a plane okay if you look at it from a uh, two or three dimensional point of view now this plane it 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 see when the satellite revolves around the surface of the earth this is the plane which it forms now this plane is called as the orbit <coughs> sorry plane is called as the orbital plane now the center of the earth the center of this plane it is called as the earth's center which is also called as geocenter now this point this geocenter is also of very much of importance because a lot of mathematical calculations it will be taken with this point geocenter as the reference basically angle can calculations so this is the orbital plane which is formed because of the movement the path taken by the satellite around the planet earth and this is the reference point the center of earth's mass which is called as geocenter now this orbital plane for uh, various calculation purpose the side view of or the edge view of the orbital plane is also sometimes considered so it appears as a straight line this orbital plane this orbital plane when it is looked from a side angle from a edge view it appears as a straight line so this is the side view or the edge view of the orbital plane now a lot of mathematical calculations are also dependent on this the orbital plane various angle calculations which we'll discuss so this concept is also very much important now the direction of the satellite's rotation now it can be in the same direction as the direction of the rotation of earth in that case it will be called as posigrade and it can also be in the opposite direction opposite to the direction of rotation of earth in that case it will be called as retrograde okay so these are some of the basic concepts related to satellite orbits first we discussed about the launching and positioning the satellite has to be given some forward velocity which should be more than the gravitational pull of earth unless uh, otherwise it will fall back to the surface of the earth 
then we discussed about orbits and trajectories orbit is a well defined path which is continuously revisited trajectory is a one time taken path it will not be taken again okay then the types of orbits circular and elliptical orbits then the concept of orbital planes and the side view or the edge view of the orbital plane and the concept of posigrade and retrograde so these are some of the basic concepts related to satellite orbits in this next videos we'll discuss about the various mathematical uh, calculations and various parameters associated with the satellite orbits and other things so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much